Hey what's up everyone, Enan here from Udroid Mania and I've got an answer to a popular question I've been asked several times, which is the better phone display, AMOLED or LCD, so stick around to find out. Today I'm hoping to clear up some questions that I've been getting, including what's the difference, is one better than the other, do they use the same amount of battery life, which one's better outdoors and so on. With that said, let's get started. If you're looking for a new cell phone, then you may have already decided which type of display technology you prefer. With all the major manufacturers out there, including LG, when it comes to their marketing you'll always hear them talk up their display technology, and their Quad HD display was simply stunning. That's the reason this was one of my favorite phones last summer. This year's competition is just beginning, already the choices seem what would be endless, and we've got new phones on the horizon from HTC and Samsung, so how do you choose? There are some big advantages to going with an LCD display. For example, they don't consume a lot of power, they perform quite well in sunlight, and they've become popular in cell phones and tablets. They have accurate color representation and they get better with each iteration. There's two main types of LCD technology, so let's start with TFT. It uses an active matrix and when I boil that down means less power consumption you'll get some better contrast. The downside, like we've seen in certain phones like the Sony Xperia Z1, is that viewing angles tend to suffer and the color representation may not always be the best at certain angles. With an IPS display, not only are the viewing angles better, but each pixel is individually charged. Now that means more power usage, but the upside is that you'll get better viewing angles and more accurate color representation. If you've seen the displays on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, then you can't argue with that and I'm sure you all agree. Next up, we have AMOLED. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. And just like the name implies, when a current is passed through them, it emits light. Wow. I know this is a TV, but I had to show you. For me, it doesn't get any better than this. It's the same technology. Unlike LCD displays, AMOLED displays are always off. This means that these displays are much purer, they have deeper blacks and consume less energy when darker colors are displayed on the screen. The contrast ratio is also higher than LCD screens, and their refresh rates are also faster too. Now it's not all good with AMOLED displays, I mean in direct sunlight they are less visible than LCDs, and there are some screen burning issues as well. So these are just some things that you're going to have to consider if you decide to go with an AMOLED display. I've said all this today to say that it's the real world performance of the display that matters most. You really need to see these displays in real life to know if it's too cool or too warm for you, if it's too saturated or has too poor contrast, brightness or viewing angles and so on. Don't fall into the trap of believing everyone else's hype. Check it out for yourself. Know how you plan to use it before you buy. If you don't have time to consume media or play games, then maybe viewing angles and contrasts and refresh rates don't matter so much for you. If you are the outdoorsy type, then maybe an LCD display would be best for you. My point is, know where and how you'd use your new phone the most. Then you can make an informed decision, because the truth is, both LCD and AMOLED displays are great displays in their own right.